Nobody has been a stronger advocate for the unborn than President Trump. The Biden-Harris ticket is the most radically pro-abortion campaign in history. They and other politicians are Catholics in name only and abandon innocent lives. That was college football Hall of Fame coach Lou Holtz speaking to the Republican National Convention last week. The president of Notre Dame, Father John Jenkins, issued a statement distancing the university from those comments. And Democrat presidential candidate Joe Biden fired back as well. Joining me now with his reaction to all of it is Lou Holtz. Coach, thank you for being here. There were speakers at the RNC last week who were there to specifically speak to the pro-life issue. Why did you choose to speak about it? Well, because I believe in it very strongly. I have a granddaughter that was adopted at birth. She's now a lawyer. She's married. Expecting her first child five months. I think of all the great things and happiness she's brought in. Being a Catholic all my life, being raised and taught by the Sisters of Notre Dame and the various priests. That, that abortion is not the right thing to do. If you can't afford a child, I understand. If you don't want it because you feel inconvenient, I understand. But at least have the child give it up for adoption. But I'm against uh, abortion such as knife. But I've looked back at what I said, and, and, and you know, I probably owe Joe Biden an apology because I can't really evaluate what's in his heart. But I do know this, that I don't criticize him. I've heard great things about him as a person, but I absolutely deplore the policy they have of nine-month abortion. I can criticize the performance. I'm not criticizing the performer, and that was what was misinterpreted on that. Mm -hmm. In an interview last Thursday, Joe Biden defended himself uh, in, the, in the wake of some of these comments. Uh, listen what he said. Look, uh, I, I'm not going to proselytize. I'm a practicing Catholic. I've been a practicing Catholic my whole life. I never, I, I, I practice all the elements of my faith. Your thoughts on Biden's response, Coach, and, and w but what does private practice of the faith, personal piety have to do with the public support of abortion? Uh, as I said, Raymond, I don't want to criticize what's in his heart, what he believes, but I do know this. That to me, if you're a Catholic, you do not uh, really advocate abortion, particularly late term abortion. And he's also made the comment, as I understand it, if elected president, he would declare war again on our little sisters of the poor. I mean, for 200 years, they've been dealing with the elderly, et cetera, and they have religious beliefs. And all of a sudden, we're going to, inf we're going to say, no, you got to believe this, you got to do this, because we say it. I, I am just. It goes more than just abortion. It goes to a lot of different things. We're talking about a way of life. We're talking about capitalism versus Marxism. There's there are so many things involved in this. Everybody wants to narrow it down to one little sentence you said or something else. But I'm an old individual. And I worry about my grandchildren. I worry about my children. What made this country great? Why do we have a wall not to keep people in? There are millions of people who want to come because it's been the most productive society history has seen the last couple hundred years. And that's what we're fighting for. That's what we're defending for. And abortion happens to be just one of the phases of it that I believe in strongly. Mm -hmm. The president of Notre Dame, Father John Jenkins, released a statement after your speech, Coach. He said, while Coach Lou Holtz is a former coach at Notre Dame, his use of the university's name at the Republican National Convention must not be taken to imply that the university endorses his views, any candidate or any political party. Moreover, we Catholics should remind ourselves that while we may judge the objective moral quality of another's actions, we must never question the sincerity of another's faith. Now, I know Notre Dame means a lot to you. What was your first reaction to that statement, Coach, when you read it? Well, I have great respect for Father Jenkins. He's been an outstanding president. He's providing great leadership uh, there. Uh, but he knew, and everybody else in the country knew that I wasn't there as a representative of Notre Dame. I happen to say, as I told the players at Notre Dame, if you didn't show up, who would miss you and why? If you didn't go home, would anybody miss you and why? Raymond, if your show ceased to exist, would your listeners miss it or why? The people you miss are those that add value to other people's lives. That's all it was. It wasn't I'm in Notre Dame, and everybody in the country knows I'm not a, uh, a spokesman for the University of Notre Dame. And, and But I have great respect for him. I'm not going to 
criticized by anything else. He has his opinion. I have mine. But I'm not going to be silenced. I'm not going to be intimidated. These are things that I believe. My wife is buried at Notre Dame. I may not be welcome to go visit her. And if I'm not buried next to her, I don't think she will even notice. Mm, well, I think I think you'll I think you'll make the cut, Coach. I mean, but uh, it it shows a certain sensitivity, I think, on the part of Notre Dame, wanting to avoid any kind of controversy. But it's a Catholic university. I mean, that is that's the foundational principles and the morals that people equate with Notre Dame. What you are articulating. What what really surprises me is how many priests are pro-abortion and. and you know, I've had so many Catholic universities, I'm talking about presidents of universities, write me and thank me for my stand on it. But as I said at the top of the show, Raymond, I, I, I wished I hadn't worded as such the Catholic and name only, because I can't judge that, but I certainly condemn the policies that he advocates that I think is detrimental to this country. Mm -hmm. Former players from Notre Dame coach have taken issue with your support of President Trump due to what they feel are the president's views on race. Um, one of your former players, Bobby Brown, had this to say about your speech at the RNC last week. I'd like your reaction. It seems as though you abandoned us based on your alignment with the man who is at least very sympathetic to races. Your reaction to that? Coach uh, Lou, what do you make of that? Um, a player who clearly has his own political and personal views about this. Um, is he misinterpreting your statement? Well, Bobby Brown played wide receiver, a wonderful young man, very intelligent, very passionate about this. He wrote me that letter with the same thing. I'm getting ready to answer it. I think that we evaluate people overall. It's not just about the president versus Joe Biden. It's about a philosophy of life about it. But let's also look at this. The one thing about President Trump, he has done more for prison reform. Black unemployment was the lowest. But the most important thing, he is advocating school choice. All the politicians send their children to private school. Oh, that's OK. But you can't send yours to a private school. And that's why we want to have school choice on this. Do you realize there are 17 high schools in the city of Baltimore? Not one student in those 17 high schools qualified or passed a certification test on math or English. That's criminal. You, you give people an education. Education is the most important thing you can give somebody because it enables them to make good choices and all the lot. But no, all of a sudden, a school choice, okay. And let me tell you something else. It also would help the parochial Catholic schools. I went to St. Aloysius. I was in the business for 100 years, taught by the nuns. But then the nuns... Uh, were taught by lay people. They had to pay them. They could no longer stay open on that. But let's give them school choice. Let's give young people an opportunity to go to a good school, get a good education, and make good choices all the To me, that's the most important thing you can do. All of a sudden, no, that's not real important. They overlook that. And there are so many other things. Uh, and I know that most of the black athletes feel the way that Bobby Brown does. I still love them anyway. Uh, I'll be there for them if they want me to. If not, I'll move on with my life. That's their choice. But I'm going to tell you, when I recruited an individual, I didn't say that you have to believe what I believe. And this is what really bothers me the most, that what's happened mm -hmm. in this country. There's only free choice if you agree with a Bobby Brown or somebody else. If you disagree, oh, you let me down. Everything's wrong. That's what's wrong. I'm down there at the Republican convention, came out on Thursday night, and, and was attacked by a mob spit on everything else, push, challenge, because I have a view. There used to be we had freedom of speech. You tell me when there's freedom of speech where you can't believe something without everybody saying, oh, you're wrong, you're a bad person, get out of here. That's, that's what's wrong with this country. It's going in the wrong direction. That's what this election's all about. Uh, I've been told up for seven months in quarantine because somebody makes a decision I can't go. I can only imagine what it's going to be like seven years from now. Hmm. Uh, Coach, have you spoken to any of your former players or anyone at Notre Dame since your speech? I've been I've been seeing a lot of email traffic, I will tell you, in the last week from alumni who were celebrating your speech and said, you know, thank God somebody's out there saying these things. What have you been hearing? Well, I, you know, I, I get a lot of mail. Most of it is very positive, but I, I, I don't run a, a, a focus group. I don't say, OK, I've been against uh, the I, I've been all for all the destruction and the rioting and everything else. 
But all of a sudden, the focus group said, oh, that might be the wrong thing. So now I'm going to come out. I don't do that. I don't run polls. I speak from my heart. And it doesn't matter what anybody else says or what anybody else thinks. When I sit back and I look at it, as I said this, I owe Joe Biden an apology for one thing, for saying it's a Catholic name only because I'm not in a position to do that. Anything other than that, no, I don't apologize for any of it. Mm hmm. Uh, before I let you go, uh, this uh, clean Catholic comedian, uh, Jim Gaffigan, whom I don't know if you knew or not, he tweeted out the night of the convention, quote, F. Lou Holtz, I can't say the word, Biden is Catholic in name only compared to who? Do you know who, who he even is, Coach? And, and what did you, ex did you expect a response like that and the ones you've gotten over the last week? I don't have any idea who he is. Let me tell you once again. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I know what's in my heart. I try to please the Lord. I used to try to please my wife, but I lost her six weeks ago. I'm not here to try to please everybody in the world. All I want to make sure is when I look in the mirror, I'm comfortable with myself. I've done the right thing. And when I speak and pray at night and look at my day and the things I've done, I want to be comfortable with it and know that I please the Lord. That's the only one I need to please. Coach Lou Holtz, I thank you for being here. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.